Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is The Greatest Paintings of All Time, Poetic Tour. The Starry Night, Vincent Van Gogh, 1889, Oil on Canvas. This masterpiece has been in the permanent collection of the Museum of Modern Art in New York City since 1941. It depicts a night sky unlike any other in the in any other the world has ever seen with ordinary eyes. For many folks, it's their favorite painting and wins first prize. The creation of Adam, part of the Sistine Chapel's ceiling, the Vatican, Rome, Italy, Michelangelo, 1510. This masterpiece illustrates the Bible creation narrative from the book of Genesis, in which God gives life to Adam, the first man. The beginning of God's stupendous cosmic drama, something he decided to plan. Mona Lisa, Leonardo da Vinci, 1506. The Mona Lisa is the most famous painting in the world. It has been on permanent display in the Louvre Museum in Paris, France, since 1797. Folks can't stop looking at Mona Lisa's eyes. One feels like he is being transported from this world into heaven. The Birth of Venus by Sandro Botticelli, 1480s. In this masterpiece painting, Venus, the ancient Roman goddess of love, arrives at the shore after her birth, emerging from the sea fully grown, standing in a giant scallop shell. Gosh, golly gee whiz, it's really something. It's totally swell. Whistler's Mother, also known as Arrangement in Gray and Black Number 1. James McNeil Whistler, 1871. This painting is on display in the Musée d'Orsay in Paris, France. It pays universal respect and honor for our mother, the greatest manifestation of God's love, a love like no other. The Cass Gustav Klimt, 1908. You must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. And when to lovers woe, they still say I love you. On that you can rely. No matter what the future brings as time goes by. It's still the same old story. A fight for love and glory. A case of do or die. The world will always welcome lovers as time goes by. The Garden of Earthly Delights, Hieronymus Bosch, 1490-1510. The great saints of all religions teach that God created this world for our entertainment. All will be well if, while enjoying the universe, we love our Creator every moment. A Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jaffe, by George Surratt, 1884. This classic scene depicts folks in Paris, France, having a good time at a park on the River Seine. Everyone is enjoying the beautiful day, the women and the men. Guernica, Pablo Picasso, 1937. This oil painting depicts the suffering caused by the Nazi German bombing of Guernica, in a Basque country town in northern Spain during the Spanish Civil War. The human race needs to move, move away from this type of behavior, 
until it is no more. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci, 1490s. This painting depicts Jesus Christ's final meal with his disciples in Jerusalem on Maundy Thursday. He washed their feet and said, Love one another as I have loved you. This is what we need to do. It's what we can do. For a troubled world, this would be the greatest breakthrough. Sistine Chapel Ceiling by Michelangelo, 1508 to 1512, the Vatican, Rome, Italy. This incredible painting is 130. 134 feet long and 46 feet wide. It depicts scenes from the book of Genesis in the Old Testament of the Bible. God's creation of the universe, light and darkness, sun and planets, water and earth, Adam and Eve, Noah and the great flood. Also, the holy men, Moses, David, Solomon and Jeremiah, as well as Joel, Ezekiel, Jonah, Daniel, and Isaiah. American Gothic, Grant Wood, 1930. This famous painting depicts the steadfast American pioneer spirit. The ability to keep going despite hardships, work hard, endure, and never quit. Liberty Leading the People, Eugène Delacroix, 1830. This painting commemorated the July Revolution of 1830, which toppled King Charles X of France. The woman wearing the Phrygian cap and holding the flag of the French Revolution, the tricolor, symbolizes the concept of liberty and the universal perpetual human struggle against all forms of tyranny. The Scream by Edward Munch, 1893. This painting by the Norwegian Expressionist has been widely interpreted as representing the universal anxiety of modern man. When faced with the challenges of life, so many respond, No, I don't think I can. The Girl with a Pearl Earring by Johannes Vermeer, 1665. This masterpiece is considered the most beautiful painting in the Netherlands. It depicts a European girl in exotic dress and wearing a turban. This painting inspired three poems, a 1999 novel, a 2003 film, and a 2008 play. The young lady seems self-possessed and having a fine day. Napoleon Crossing the Alps Jacques-Louis David, 1801. Quotes by Napoleon Bonaparte. There are only two forces in the world, the sword and the spirit. In the long run, the sword will always be conquered by the spirit. The extent of your consciousness is limited only by your ability to love and to embrace with your love the space around you and all it contains. Glory is fleeting, but obscurity is forever. A leader is a dealer in hope. The torment of precautions often exceeds the dangers to be avoided. It sometimes is better to abandon oneself to destiny. If you want a thing done well, do it yourself. It requires more courage to suffer than to die. The first virtue in a soldier is endurance of fatigue. Courage is only the second virtue. Imagination rules the world. The best cure for the body is a quiet mind. The Gleaners, Jean-Francois Millet, 1857, France. This masterpiece depicts three peasant women gleaning or collecting leftover crops in a field of stray stalks after the harvest. Many folks have been inspired by this sight, the Christian and the Marxist. The Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog, Caspar David Friedrich, 1818. 
This masterpiece of Romanticism has many interpretations. A metaphor for an unknown future. The archetype image of a mountain climbing visionary and mastery over a landscape, along with the insignificance of the individual within it. The never-say-die spirit, the man who will not quit. The 3rd of May, 1808, Francisco Goya, 1814. This masterpiece hangs in the Museo del Prado in Madrid, Spain. It depicts the Spanish resistance to the Napoleonic French invasion of Spain. It depicts the horrors of war, which are certainly very inhumane. St. George and the Dragon, Paolo Vicello, 1470. St. George tamed and slayed a dragon, which had been demanding human sacrifices. George's victory symbolized a man's victory over evil. We all can and must win this battle and truly become kind and peaceful. The Storm on the Sea of Galilee, Rembrandt van Rijen, 1633. One evening, Jesus and his disciples were crossing the Sea of Galilee in a boat. Suddenly, a furious storm came up with the waves breaking over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was asleep in the stern, and the disciples woke him and asked, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Jesus woke up. Jesus woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm. Jesus said to his disciples, Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? And they were, and they were filled with great awe and said to one another, who, who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? What a wonderful, inspiring story in a world that can be rather grim. Lady with an ermine, Leonardo da Vinci, 1490. A quote by Leonardo da Vinci. The ermine, or short-tailed weasel, out of moderation, never eats but once a day and it would rather let itself be captured by hunters than take refuge in a dirty lair in order not to stain its purity. The lady in the painting was the mistress of Ludovico Sforza, the Duke of Milan, and her name was Cecilia Gallerani. Washington Crossing the Delaware, Emanuel Lutz, 1851. December 1776 was a dark time in American history. The British had taken New York City, and the American Revolutionary War appeared to be lost. However, on Christmas Day, George Washington and the Continental Army recrossed the Delaware River and defeated the British at Trenton, New Jersey, the following day. Hope was revived that the war could be won, that there still was a way. Well, that concludes today's presentation. What a wonderful thing, all these uh, paintings that have been created by artists over the centuries. And God bless all those people, all the artists of paintings in, in world history. Uh, you might consider checking out our website, Adventures in History with Peter J. Ray, at peterjray.com. So far, we've made 630 history videos in seven areas. World history, American history, book reviews, poetic tours, Cleveland baseball, family history, and autobiography. There's a donate button. You might consider making a donation so that we can continue making these videos. You also might consider checking out our podcast, Adventures in History. <clears throat> if you live in Metro Manila, Philippines, and are looking for a high school, you might consider Res Celeste Educational Center. We are Res Celeste is located in San Juan, Metro Manila, and we specialize in helping young people who have had difficulty in the larger traditional high schools. And the website is reselest.education, R-E-S-A-L-E-S-T. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care. And I'll see you next time.